I'm Richard Davies, Managing Director of Davies Craig, an Australian automotive company that's been manufacturing electric fans for over 40 years. Over the last 10 years, we've developed an electric water pump, which replaces the belt-driven mechanical pump on an automotive engine. We've sold over 20,000 electric water pumps into the aftermarket, and now we've developed an electric water pump suitable for original equipment. Over the last 30 years, electric radiator fans have replaced belt-driven mechanical fans with a consequence of power saving, improved temperature control and better fuel efficiency. Now, mechanical belt-driven water pumps can be replaced by an electric water pump with the same benefits as well as removal of a thermostat and an ability to cool the engine after a hot shot down to eliminate heat soak. The aim of the Davies Craig project was to develop an electric water pump which could maintain steady engine temperature and minimise the power drain on the electrical system while eliminating heat soak. Davies Craig has 40 years experience in automotive cooling. It developed the thematic fan which replaced the belt driven mechanical fan. These days lighter and more efficient electronic systems are replacing mechanical systems. The initial development was to design an electric water pump suitable for use in a six-cylinder, four-litre Australian engine. We needed to determine the maximum flow rate required by the electric water pump and then select the electric motor. Davies Craig measured the flow rates of mechanical pumps of various engines. We found that in a 3.9-litre six-cylinder engine, the maximum flow rate was about 240 litres per minute at 4,000 revs and in a GM 5 litre V8, uh, about the same flow rate. The question is, are these high flow rates really necessary, or are they just a consequence of a flow rate required at idle? Some of the mechanical pumps actually decreased as the pump speed increased due to cavitation. Further testing showed that the maximum flow rate of a six-cylinder vehicle was not actually required, that the flow rates at the high engine speeds are a consequence of what is required at idle, and that there are power losses by having the extra flow rate. Davies Craig uh, assembled a number of flow and durability rigs for further testing. It reproduced the engine radiator package by having a simple 50 kilowatt heater, which is the silver tube in the background of this uh, picture, connected to a radiator, which is then connected to one, two, four or six pumps, and then the circuit goes back into the heater. We found that heat dissipation was linear against flow rate up to a point where almost all the heat that is being produced is being dissipated. Flow rates higher than that rate do not remove any more heat. We found that for a six-cylinder engine, a maximum flow rate of only 88 litres per minute is required, compared with the maximum flow rate of the mechanical pump of 240 litres per minute. The power taken by a mechanical pump increases as the cube of its speed, so that in a six-cylinder engine, a maximum of six kilowatts is used to drive the mechanical pump at the high engine speeds and we found in a 5 litre V8 the power taken by the pump was 10 kilowatts at the high speeds. Davies Craig engaged a Australian government scientific organisation to do further tests on heat dissipation and we measured uh, heat dissipation against radiator phase velocity or ram air at various coolant flow rates going from 18 litres per minute to 68 litres per minute. Results showed that at a radiator phase velocity of one metre per second, the heat dissipation was not that much different at the low and high flow rates due to the fact that the coolant spends longer in the radiator at low flow rates. When the radiator phase velocity is up to four metres per second, the heat dissipation does change a little, but it still only varies between 2 and 2.4 kilowatts per square metre. These results show that heat dissipation is not that sensitive to flow rate. In our design process, we chose an electric motor manufactured by Machusta 
National Panasonic and a motor which had been uh, used for many years as a electric fan motor and had proven uh, performance under bonnet, low EMI and uh, terrific reliability and durability. The pump material was a choice between cast aluminium and nylon. We chose nylon uh, 66 glass filled because it had been the material used for radiator side tanks and we knew that it could withstand the temperatures, pressures and chemistry of the coolant. Davies Craig assembled a flow pressure test rig which allowed us to measure the performance of electric water pumps. We were able to modify pump body and impeller design and maximise efficiency. Durability and life is measured on tailor-made rigs and we have been able to achieve a life of 7,000 hours. Advantages for OEMs going to electric water pump cooling include uh, run-on after hot shutdown, cost reduction as the Davies Craig electric water pump is actually cheaper than the mechanical pump, deletion of course of the pump itself, possibly the thermostat, and simplification of the belt drive system where the water pump pulley is deleted and maybe an idler as well. The electric fan requires less running time due to the ability of the electric water pump to run at a speed independent of the engine speed and there is a reduction of weight with the Davies Craig electric water pump weighing about 900 grams. Bigger head to sump temperature differences can be achieved. Faster warm up allows for emissions reductions and also fuel savings and the coolant system can be optimised with regard to the size of the radiator, the electric fan, the volume of coolant, etc. Performance is improved as more power is able to be sent to the drive wheels, allowing for better acceleration and smoother gear changes. The electric water pump is easier to service being mounted in the lower radiator hose. The management system can preempt heat loads and uh, with the use of solenoids or multiple pumps, flow rates can be varied around the engine block. The electric water pump designed for OEMs is arranged such that the electric motor forms the floor of the pump body and there is one plastic part which comes over the top of the electric motor. The ceramic face seal is located in the hub of the impeller and there are gasket and o-rings around the outside of the electric motor which is light blue in this CAD. Coolant is in contact with the electric motor thus cooling the electric motor. The conclusion is that electric water pumps are coming as more and more OEMs replace mechanical belt driven pumps. The electric water pumps will meet the demands of today's customers by optimising engine temperature, being able to vary engine temperature for different conditions, reduce fuel consumption and emissions, increase engine power and eliminate engine heat soak.